What's that? Boost leak. Wow, so you're saying the car wasn't even at the low boost level you yeah. set it at. I'm just kidding. Yeah, so we're, uh, I'm just setting the valve. Always very exciting. Yeah, and I might do some things on this. You can start yours too? Possibly, yeah. First start tonight. No, I'm just gonna continue this whole on. The parts will be here soon. It's like a week since the last video I did with Sonic Stang. Still have not got a computer. You could research how to build like a NASCAR engine easier than figuring out these processors and stuff. There's all these different ones. The newest one's called like Coffee Lake or something. Oh yeah? Yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. But anyways, uh, yeah. We're just gonna do some Mustang. Mustang bro stuff tonight. All right, let's, what's Rob saying? Let's, let's get cut no, let's, let's get to it. Just checking out Clayton's cam card here. I don't know if he wants me to show you that, but. Oh, I don't care. Got the horsepower numbers here. Yeah, I know, I was looking for the, I couldn't remember the valve last, so. I'm reminiscing here through some old dynos. That was the, at 27 pounds of boost. 1,083 at 6,400 it liked. Almost 900 torque, torque. Yeah, so if you guys don't know, this car has been, what, 851, two? 852? Two, it only it 20 PSI. Yeah, not with all of it. So it's pretty fast, and it's a street car, and if you've watched the channel, you would know this, but in case you don't. And then here's like a 20 PSI pull. This wasn't the high, I think we ended up at 880 or something, but call it 800 horsepower at the tires and 755 foot pound torque at 20 pounds of boost. Clayton's got the black those Mustang are, are, uh, Bible yeah, here. This is the owner's manual for my car. <laughs> anyway, where's that cam car? Clayton's been having some uh, issues taking a number two lately. So we got this tool here. It's the piss hole 5000. We're gonna jam it up his bum hole. Clayton found a little bit of rust on this plug here. He might have wiped it off. It was just only a tiny bit. Smidge of rust there right at the top of the, where the rings go. But the cylinder wall, oh, that gets up close. You can really see the cross hatch. And that's what the inside of Clayton's butt looks like. So, probably no issue there? No. Obviously. Well, we'll pull the rest and uh, see what's up. A little this closer is, inspection. This is the next one over. Oh, that's a different cylinder. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's just whatever. Whoop, a little more there. Yeah. Phew. I mean, those are the things that you don't see every springtime when you yeah. put the motor up. Really makes that uh, crosshatch look coarse. Yeah. Eh? Hope it's not really like that. <laughs> <laughs> this thing likes to click. Gonna do a lot of clicking now. First, we're gonna test this uh, last cylinder, though. Testing. Rust checking. <laughs> you may hear things like that when you insert the tool sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that stinks. <laughs> that was a good one. You any rust in there? I can't that even... damn dare cylinder. There we go. Yeah, now I can see. Yeah, that looks better. Just a tinge. A little patina just for the, uh, the looks. Yeah, you hi LS hydraulic cam guys. Just tighten the valve and you're good, but solid cam, you gotta set the lash. Yeah, this is something a lot of people probably don't deal with, <laughs> especially these days with the LS platform. But. Oh, there's... Lots of solid roller options, isn't there? Yeah, I don't think people do it as often though. I mean, with the typical China turbo shit box, 
stuff like this and small block Chevys, of course. This is a thing. You need more clicking? Yeah. I'm good. And this is uh, how you do this. You uh, click on the spaceship controls up here. Again. 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 Stop. And what you're trying to do is, uh, well, take the pressure off that rocker, basically. Well, you want to be off the lobe of the yeah. camshaft. Obviously, yes. And you're measuring the uh, tolerance, basically, that the rocker is loose. I run 18 thou on the exhaust and 20 on the intake. On the top. Cold. Of the Some guys container. set their valves hot. Some guys set them cold. At the end of the day, I don't think it matters as long as you. Do it the same every time. Um, I always forget. So I set intake when exhaust starts to open. Set exhaust when intake almost goes. I can never it's forget like, that. People always if have I to don't look, look at, at every valve, I'll get fucked up. It's one of those weird things. <laughs> set exhaust when intake almost closed. Okay. Little one. <laughs> oh, see, and then now we have the click. The battery's weak. So you gotta. And I need a solenoid, I guess. Ooh, just tiny one. Stop. So you think you're done? I think so. We're gonna see right now. Keep going. Just like that, back together. We should try it like that. There's a. It's even got its uh, heat shielding bag back on the turbo. No, that's the, it's kind of uh, like a turbo blanket, but that's the metal grinding chip. not quite. Jeez. Yeah, because we're going to do some uh, grinding over in construction zone over here. We got the construction light. It's like a new exhibit coming soon. Dusty as shit. But anyways, I uh, put a bunch of tape on there. I'm going to trace a black line then cut the tape just so I have a really good like round template to grind with the carbide bit to this thing. I'm gonna try not to make the worst hole ever like I did with the other one. So we'll see how that goes. So it's been a while. We've been just fucking around and we've been boroscoping everything. Yeah. It's getting later in the Friday evening now. Checking out the Edelbrock casting quality. Looking at all the mold lines here. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, the hole's made. I made a I made a nice hole, guys. At least on the top part. And then the bottom, I mean, you'll never see. And I kind of got to round it out more. Holding the uh, round thing I was holding up here, it didn't really fit well with this whole seam in the way before. So I didn't make the best line, but yeah, there you go. So you can see, you're gonna have to cut this middle piece out as well. Uh, I was saying to Clayton in the end, if it ends up coming through here and not going directly down there and like, going down here per se if you know what I mean even if I cut all this out I can still end up making a little piece to close in the piece that's not needed in the end because you don't want too many holes from your engine bay to the firewall especially with one of these ticking time bombs under the hood so that's where we're at Friday night guys you worried about what I wasn't listening fires Fireballs? Death. All right, so the hole is dug. As they say, look at that trap door right into the car. Woo! Yeah. Turned out all right. <coughs> and well, uh, you made. Oh, you can you made see. Made a nice kinda. round hole, and then you made a square hole on the other side. The intercooler is right there. So as you can see, it goes in here. The air to water is in there. That just has to go a tiny little distance right there. You can kind of see that flat. Angle. Anyways, progress. Finally. Mustang Bros. So after a bunch of uh, butchering and doing, we have a hole that is a little open on the bottom. But Square hole. you can kind of see what's going on here. There's a U-pipe I had. It's, it's somewhere in that parts storage container right now. 
that originally the cold side, as you guys would know if you've watched, was going to come out and go in the front of the stock intake that way. So I have that U bend, so we might be able to utilize it going straight and then part of the bend to go right in there, and that would be pretty cool because then there'd just you, be why'd one you solid make piece. Sharp in corner. You should have put a radius in here. So I still plan to clean up both holes. Maybe saying. maybe add some material <laughs> if needed, but uh, yes, I think that's uh, the it. Bar is not even tight. Yeah, that too. But that's uh, it for Mustang Bros tonight. I think. Yeah, I just gotta put gas in it. Fire it up. Can they see your cam card? Sure. Yeah, it's, if you made it to this far in the video. I have one six five rocker, so the math's a little different than what's on there. Do with that what you will. <laughs> yeah. Nothing, nothing too crazy. Just a little mild. Look at that with the blue hood. A little mild street kind. Like we were saying last time, black hood on there looks good. Blue hood on here, not not so much. So that's all for uh, Mustang boys, Sonic Sting adventures <laughs> today. Yeah, so uh, like, just because uh, we need you to, not because you liked the video. Uh, the four of you, make sure to dislike right away. Four? Yeah. Four haters now? Yeah, I saw like three, three videos previous consecutive. It was only four dislikes, and it's like, wow, that's quite the coincidence. Makes me feel bad when I see that. Get upset. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Nah. <laughs> 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 so anyways, yeah, this is pretty cool. I'm stoked. Uh, pretty come cool, I gotta cut a hole in my firewall. Awesome. You're, probably, you're probably not gonna see this video for a bit, just because of computer stuff and backlogged of, right, what's the date? It's May 17th today. Wait, so to for reference, May 17th. You're supposed to buy a computer last fucking weekend. It's, it's super, like I was telling the Clayton only, earlier. The only YouTuber I know that buys like, the nicest GoPro you can, you can buy. All you do is turn but, this thing on though. But doesn't have the supporting hardware to Well, yeah, and then it does, it into video. to have this high quality, it doesn't work with my current laptop that's only meant for tuning, so, but it's become the editing computer, but so it's super he was slow. supposed to go buy himself whatever he needed. And it was gonna be no problem. With your donations from yeah. crazy live stream. Sure. But he hasn't fucking done it I just want to make sure I get the, just like the car. I always want to make sure I get it right the first time. Just, just like you guys should do and subscribe. And we'll build and get, it ourselves. Just plug. You know what? Don't like, don't subscribe, don't do any of that. <coughs> I don't even care. We just like making these videos for you guys. So I hope you enjoy. And that's about it. And yeah, there's going to be some of that soon and definitely a lot of that with this thing. Five liter turbo. And uh, also, yes. So it- Mike said yes. Like I said, it's May 17th, Friday right now. Rambletron 2000, Slocker Mechanics. Copyrighted. Stay tuned to SPP TV for life. Check you later. Even after death. Mike. And fuck off. Getting pretty <laughs> steep. This video's gotten deep. Okay, well, hit off the, the rails. No more.